Bonjour. Something different. Uh, it's a discography, I think I call these videos. Um, I was listening back to Spectral Voice some time ago and then I realized all of a sudden that I quite have a lot of their stuff. Um, so yeah, time to do a discography video knowing that they always, you know, give or have an audience that uh, can maybe give me or fill some holes in that discography. So always worth doing. Uh, Come Eternal Somberness, Eternal Somberness from Tapos is on playlist in the back. So uh, the sun's out, so I'm in the mood for death metal more or doom, dead, dead doom, whatever way you want to look at it. This is a Denmark band, uh, more on the metallic side of death metal, if you will, or the uh, the black and dark side. Um, but yeah, very good record. This is on uh, Blood Harvest. Yes. There you go. So yeah, a uh, discography update and then a new collection update. I am going to do the uh, Crypt of the Wizard one because I don't think the talk, the second talk with Charlie will um, will come around anytime soon. So yeah, Spectral Voice. Let's dive in. Um, I've seen him I think two times, one time in Antwerp and one time in Brussels. The flyers are here somewhere. This is, I only have one shirt by them because of the Antwerp show was the second time I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure they just played a spectral voice. The Brussels show was with Blood Incantation. I only have this one, the uh, Blood Incantation spectral voice long sleeve with the logos. Spectral Voice on one side, Blood Incantation on the other side. And then all of them in the meadow. Let's see, there is not a year on here, so from this I won't get it, but quite a big tour. Brussels BA. So this was from the Brussels gig. The first one has the, you know, weird artwork, tentacles of horror artwork, which is also on this button that won't be sharp but you know you know what I mean so yeah that was a Brussels gig I'm I can't put a date on it maybe from the flyers it will come out um, tapes let's see what I am missing is basically not that much actually uh, tour promos that's two self-release tapes by them 2015 2016 uh, then the rehearsal from July 19 2014 the VHS for eroded but you know and then the self-titled rehearsal tape from 2014, so basically a few tapes, which is okay, I guess. Um, I, the reason I'm doing this is because, like I said, people tend to fill the holes I'm, I have, and uh, I just got one in that from a guy that helped me out. So yeah. Let's delve in. The first one is the Tour Promo 2018. I am not sure where I got it. I think it was labeled by from, can't remember, but it was straight out of a distro from a label. It has the Stay Dead in there. And this is one of those self-released ones. Very cool. Just copied artwork, very heavy. Recorded in the 5th Cave 61318 studio, studio version to be revealed on upcoming split with Anhedonist. A neat on this. So uh, it's the, the track for the splits that they have. The seven inch I just showed. Yeah. Love these self-released tour promos. And there you go. The head. Which if you have the button, please hit me up. But yeah, Colorado, Denver. And lately I'm giving the edge to Spectral Voice over Blood Incantation. It's hard to pick and I don't know if you need to pick, but um I am enamored with Spectral Voice lately, just rediscovering that band all over again, which is always cool. Uh, this is the Eroded Corridors of Unbeing, the tape they sold on the last show I saw them. This was the Antwerp show at Hudbos, one of the, maybe one of the last shows I saw before the pandemic hits. This is on Bleak Environment, also from Denver, so I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure if it's self-released. It, it, probably is. It's also a copy and they had it with him on tour so. The, um, the second guitarist, I don't know what his name is, like maybe it shows up. He had a podcast on the um, 
the death metal podcast that I'm blanking on right now, and he said that the rehearsal tapes were just not. Um, it wasn't the intention to release them, but you know the uh, Paul apparently records everything they do, so they sounded that good. And people, he was just passing them around to, um, to see if there was any interest, and people started copying them, and they got out, I guess. But yeah, here we go. Stamped on the back. Um, so yeah, that's why I say the VHS is not really necessary. This is the remastered audio version of that VHS, and it's the eroded corridors of unbeing life. Uh, Denver, Colorado, 30th September 2017, and it's 52 minutes. Uh, so yeah, the audio originally released by Lavender Sect. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, so yeah, cool little tape. It is on this Stay Dead Blue. I think that's their color. The live, the entire live set, which is so uh, yeah, very cool little tape. Lucky to get this from them. And then the last tip I have is the extremely rotten version of the uh, Necrotic Demos compilation. Um, well, compilation, just the demos for the Necrotic Doom LP. Rotting Auras, Horrid Phantasms, or Horrid Phantasm, Defluence of Ruined Graves, Slowly Claimed by Oblivion, Peeled Veins, Cathartic, or Tatic Depths, Ineffable Winds bonus track, which is also on the, uh, this is also the track with Anitonist, Anitodonist, I don't know how to pronounce it, there you go, take layout, live or promo stuff by them, really cool looking, Cerebral Rot, Necrot, Undergang, Stag Bills everywhere, man. yeah, Kill Town, this is the poster, the tour poster for the Blood Incantation Spectral Voice one, the big tour poster. The other one was uh, done locally here, which I'll show in a minute. But yeah, cool little tape. I was planning on selling this because I have the LP version, but the tapes are always so good looking that collector can't let them go. Okay, into the 7 inches, I'll show them somewhat in order I guess. This is the first one, uh, this is not the original because they are always very very expensive, too expensive actually to buy and it is a 7 inch. There are a lot of Danish flags in here so you know where I got it. It is uh, the 7 inch that is re-released by um, Extremely Rotten when the uh, demo compilation came out. So there's this classic artwork. I think the original was a bit greener, if I'm not mistaken, or it's just a picture I always saw, but yeah, I'm not sure. There we go. The back, it says it was a true copy of the original, so maybe it's just the picture. There's an inlay with texts, yes, and then some info, extremely rotten. But yeah, it was cool to have this finally repressed. It's, the tapes are expensive, the 7 inches is expensive, it's all expensive. This just comes on a plain black. I don't know if there were any other colors ever, but yeah. Blood incantation side, spectral voice sides, with the blood red logo. And it's, yeah, it looks insane. And it is insane to finally have this one, because it would have eluded the collection forever. Not, not sure there's a need to get an original one. Uh, here we go. Sunday, October 8, 2017 was the Blood Incantation Spectral Voice show. This is uh, the tour booklet, if you will, by uh, Kill Town Bookings out of Denmark. Uh, and it has a bit of uh, his name. Here we go. M. Kolomtirski, I think. The second guitar, or the guitar player for uh, Blood Incantation and Spectral Voice was on the podcast. Why am I blanking on it? Heavy Hole. There we go. So yeah, it's basically just a uh, as you could say, a piece of paper and then the uh, very cool looking poster for the 2017 tour. European Necrosis. Blood Incantation Star Spawn and then Spectral Voice debut album out this fall. So yeah, it has been some time, four years already. Would kill to see them again. 
that was a great show. The picture of the um, of the blood incantation, the life wrote it. No, the life. Um, let's see. They have it here somewhere. Death. Where is blood incantation? There we go. The life picture on the back. There you go. This was taken at the Brussels show, so that's Magazay Quatre that same year. European Necrosis 17. Yep, it adds up, so I'm right for once. Uh, but yeah, cool to see uh, that show pop up. Or that picture show up. But back to the main program. So yeah, very cool to still have that flyer tucked in. The second one is the Frenolids, um Speckled Voice, Peeled Veins and One mm, Fertile Once Fertile Soil. Uh, this came out on Iron Bonehead and Dark Descent, which is maybe a weird team up uh, for these bands. I'm not sure how it is perceived, but it was weird to have it show up at Iron Bonehead. The artwork. Does it say Killtown Dead Militia Frenolids? Illustrations by Emil Tivel or Tibel, I'm not sure. Typography by Tinde. It is a very simple but good looking fold out 7 inch. Looks insane. Great artwork. And then there were two versions. I have just the standard black. I think there was a like brownish, clear beige with. Um, with black running through it, but yeah, that one eluded me, or I just opted for the black at that time, I'm not sure. But yeah, very cool artwork. Very romantic, necrotic, if you will. Dead people hugging. But yeah, this is a very cool one. Two bands that are still not played out, I think. I knew the new Frenolit is coming out winter, maybe this year. Depends on when the pressings will come, but um, yeah that mummy very looking forward to that one and the same guy in the heavy all also alluded because blood incantation is now doing their um, ambient records and then speckle voice is also writing or looking to write so yeah. we'll see a lot of good stuff to come I think they had a lot of time on their hands due to the pandemic so and they were each other's bubble or you know, whatever you want to call it that's two seven inches. What are we doing on time? 13, okay. This is the Vastum Spectral Voice seven inch. I, um, I got some time ago. Very, very cheap, also through Discogs. Um, it comes with this, mm, yeah, I, said, was it? I was going to say blue, but it's white artwork, skull splattered all over. Then the back has this blue with the weird little promo sticker, Dark Descent's post office box. Uh, Vastum is a 20 buck spin band, um, yeah, very good also, but um, it's kind of harder for me to get into that those records. I don't have those records, I listen to it digitally. I uh, I think she, the, the girl who is co-writer or co-player, the guitarist, is one of the most unique voices, playing styles in that metal, so yeah. I give them a lot of praise, but Ganging on a Gash is the Vastum site, and then Katabatic, Katabatic Depths. Those titles, um, yeah, is the spectral voice blue on the inside, nothing to see. Then it comes with this cool artwork on blue printed, very fitting, and very nice seven inch. As in good tradition with spectral voice, this is blue. And there you go, Fastum sides. Cool voice. Nice clear blue, which I love. And then the last one I have is another blue thing. It's all blue, blue, blue. This came in, so Franz, thank you very much. Um, I flipped the records. There we go. 
quick little pit stop. I um, took a picture and put it on Instagram and said, hey, if you have anything and you're willing to let it go, please send it my way. And we came to an agreement on the Anhedonist and Spectral Voice 7 inch. Uh, Anhedonist, I have to plead ignorance. Um, I know them a bit through this split. I checked them out at the time, but the tragic thing is at the time this was getting released, right after it, one of the guys in the band, um, yeah, sadly passed away. So I think the band is done. I'm not sure. This is Dark Descent and Paras Parasitic, yes, Parasitic Records, and he donnest with Abject Darkness and Spectral Voice with Ineffable Winds, which I really like that title. It conjures images. I'm not sure which ones, but there is a. Lyric sheet for both bands with members explained, and then this is also the blue version. Not as light blue as the other one, or not as clear, this is more a dark blue version. There you go. So yeah, I, th I think I have all the seven inches, yes. So Franz, once again, thank you for letting it go from your collection into mine. Always nice. Trade would be better, but hey. If someone needs the cash and I have it, why not? That is the seven inches. There you go. All four of them. Beautiful stuff. I showed the shirt, showed the tapes, so we are at the full length. Cheers. The first one is the Necrotic Doom, the one I got to know them by. Uh, and I kind of scrambled at the same time, I think I was looking for. Um, the first EP by Blood Incantation. I bought that. I they it sold out everywhere, and I bought it in Australia at the time. I think for kind of more than I should have paid, but I then jumped on this one and um, I got this pretty cheaply. But um, it was also hard to find at that time. Necrotic Tomb, Rotting Auras, Horrid Phantasm, and Diffluence of Ruined Graves on Dark Descent. It was not split label like some of these are now, but um, yeah. There you go. One that we know from the necrotic demos. There you go. They use the same artwork, which is okay, I guess, but I would prefer a slight difference, maybe. But uh, yeah, very good record. The sound here is, um, you can hear a huge jump between the necrotic um, doom and then the eroded corridors. It is, I wouldn't say day and night, but I think they were, since these, this is a two-piece here, I don't think they were fully fleshed out bands at that time, so, um, yeah. This came out on tape once again, also through Iron Bonat, self-released, and then there are black vinyl, True Dark Descent, I think it got repressed one more time or something like that. It is a one-sided 12-inch with um, this monster, and once again, this is the pin I'm looking for from Maggot Stomp, if you have this one. Please, let's work out a deal, because I missed it at the time, because it was from coming from America and stuff like that. Yeah. Patch, I think I bought this at the, I'm not sure, I think Brussels show, just to put in the, um, wish I got two and wish I had bought the hat to put on a jacket, but for now it stays nicely tucked, nerd style, in the vinyl copy. But yeah, very good. I, tend to think this is their EP or maybe a glorified rehearsal um, but the real sound breaks through on the um, on this one eroded corridors of unbeing it popped up on my Spotify list I think and I just started listening again that's how I got back into other bands and it, it it's just such a good record I think if I had to make it top let's say 50 not to be too lyrical about it it would be in there comes once again with this hat on it it says into gloom instead of their ne necrotic doom they have a few of those sayings the stay dead is also a very good one uh, this is the original pressing I think on dark descent um, this is the black one not the blue one or the blue purple I think blue purple is the repress the blue one is the original or something like it comes in this it's this weird fold out or fold over and then the record slips in here so it's a I don't know 
a kind of a gatefold, kind of a single sleeve. Yeah. The guys under some nebula skies and then a weird ass logo they are using here and there. But yeah, very good looking artwork. Kind of fits the record or the sound of the record. Uh, this is, like I said, the black version. There you go. What's on here? Life pictures. So it's kind of convoluted in what way it was up or down, but there we go. Life pictures from them, which is weird because they play basically in the dark. Okay. There is a booklet that came with it. And by this time they were the fully fleshed band that they are now. Um, so yeah, the sound is, I wouldn't say day and night, but you can really hear the the roughness of the, uh, the demo or the EP, if you will, is um, kind of streamlined and smoothed out here. It is still nasty as hell, but um, I don't know. Big ass cross picture. And then this is the uh, Antwerp show poster designed by Jonk HM, the guy that does a lot for the Belgian Black and Dead scene, live scene. Cosmocrator Vort, I think there was their first show, Grave Miasma, which I saw a bit of, and then Spectral Voice, which was amazing. I give the edge to the um, Brussels show, just because maybe it was the first time, but it was also the one-two punch of Blood Incantation and then Spectral Voice. Plus Magazine 4, it's always a bit special. But Bos in Antwerp is where I feel at home, but um, or felt at home, because it's been some time since I've been there, but I don't know, Magazine 4 has this old feel to it, it just, yeah. If by any chance you haven't heard this one, please check it out. Start here, why not? Last thing I have is the, once again, the demos of the, uh, what did I say? Necrotic demos. There you go. It comes with extras all around. They put some work into this one. Uh, like I said, same artwork as the inlay. And then on the back, it's a bit different. Um, Spectral Voice Post Office Box in Denver, extremely rotten. And then this uh, site demo, and then site splits. So there is some stuff from the seven inches uh, on this one too. It comes with a big inlay of, once again, tour posters and live posters. On the other side, it is the demo, if you will, and then the split seven inches, the tracks on there. So yeah, they have a lot of stuff out, but a lot of it is the same and different, you know, a rehearsal version, a demo version, stuff like this, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, these were all on black, and this is still in press, they just keep pressing them until the demand runs out, they said, so yeah. There is what's in here. There is a, another seven inch that came with it. And it has Ineffable Winds once again on there. And there you go. Of course, it fell. It has the two flyers, or I have the two flyers, for the European merch store. True Extremely Rotten, and this is the Extremely Rotten flyer for the Necrotic Demos. Coolest thing, and I saved this one for last, it is once again the same artwork, but I love how the blue says stay dead at all. It's the first time I did horns, I think, on this channel. It's first for everything. That's it. Next update is going to be some black metal again. This was the dead metal update, and uh, I'll see you yeah, soon. I have stuff, so let's go. Peace.